guys welcome on board again to everyday affairs it's an interesting news for you this time around and um, you will like it just like you always like all the new ones all right the news says god will guard nam the canoe against haters and evil doers tb joshua prays and prophesies all right before the news in details i would like to please uh crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever a new story is posted please even if this is your first time coming across this channel do not fail to please subscribe i appreciate and i do not take your support for granted thank you and god bless you now the news in full prophet tb joshua leader and founder of the synagogue church of all nations has prayed for namdekano the leader of the indigenous people of biafra i pop for his courage he prayed for him during his church service at the synagogue church of all nations that almighty will guard him against haters and evil doers it was earlier reported that the man of God had prophesied. According to his prophecy, he says, God has shown me in a vision that you are the anointed one. You will lead Ipop into eternity. Almighty will guard you against haters and evildoers. He will fight your wars. No weapon formed no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. You will live to testify the works of the Lord in the land of the living. All right, viewers and listeners, um, that's um, the prophecy and the prayers from um, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the leader and founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations for Nam Dekano. Well, we are in a time of prophecies. You know, and remember the prophecy of Father uh, Mbaka as against uh, the former governor of Imo State, Emeka Hedioha, which you know sacked, which led to the sacking of the Emeka Hedioha and the sitting or bringing in on board of Hope Uzodimba. Now we are having another prophecy from Prophet Tibi Joshua. To Nam the Kano saying that he saw in a vision that God will punish his haters and that God will guide him, saying that he is the anointed one that will lead Ipom to eternity. How true is this? We all know that prophecies are or prophecies do come from time to time based as this man of God are said to be led. So now that it has been prophesied by the great prophet T.B. Joshua of Nigeria, what are the expectations of people at the moment? Well, as a lot of Christians, we know when God wants to do a thing, he does it without probably minding if anyone is interested or not or if anyone is looking or not but saying now the kano is the anointed one and will lead i pop into eternity well i'm not a prophet and i'm not prophet tv joshua but to a large extent he is a well known and renowned prophet whose prophecies mostly come to pass do nigerians now rely on prophecy do people now rely on prophecy well that i cannot tell because i'm not in the hearts of every nigerian but to a large extent being a religious people that we are in this country a lot of christians a lot of christians actually um you know believe in prophecy and expect that prophecies will come to pass one would not um, expect anything f short of what has been prophesied well 
Prophet T.B. Joshua has already said it. He has said he has declared a prophecy as shown to him by God in a vision, according to what he said, that Nabucano is the anointed one. All right. A lot of people actually believe that Nambekano is on the right track to lead the people uh, of Biafra into the promised land. And do we take this prophecy of Prophet T.B. Joshua as a confirmation? Did we take, do we take this prophecy to the bank? Will it come to pass? These are questions that I believe we will get the answers with time. Nigerians are highly interested in the accuracy of prophets and prophecy. Just like the issue of Reverend Farambaka, you know, the prophecy of Reverend Farambaka came to pass, and a lot of people by that are judged that he's a true man of God. While some were saying that um, he isn't a true man of God, that he had an insight into what was going to happen, and leveraged on it to prophesy to his congregation that this was what the APC was going to do because they feel or they felt that he is somewhat closer to the APC camp. Well, be that as it may, we don't know the truth yet. But those that know the truth actually know the truth and one thing is definitely sure, someday, someday, the truth is going to be revealed. Someday, someday, somebody is going to spill things out and the general public would know what happened or what transpired. If truly, you know, Reverend Fadambaka had an insight, true an insider, of what was going to happen at the Supreme Court. All right, back to uh, the prophecy of um, Prophet T.B. Joshua. A lot of us know that Prophet T.B. Joshua is well respected. You know, if you go to his church, if you follow him, if you follow his ministry, you see the miracle signs and wonders, you know, that do take place and how he delivers people from evil spirits and all what have you that, you know, they get possessed of. But somehow, somehow, one cannot help but probably believe or accept that since Prophet T.B. Joshua has, had seen it and prophesied it, it probably might just come to pass. How? I think nobody can say at the moment, but it looks like what the prophet had seen and has said will likely come to pass. I know that this will be a happy moment. This will uh, be a joyful news in the hearts and minds of all Biafrans because all what Biafrans want at this moment is the Republic of Biafra. A lot of them have come out to say that the, enough of the marginalization uh, under this present administration of President Muhammadu Buhari and they feel that it is better for everyone to go their separate ways. It is better for the East, Easterners to go their ways, the Southerners go their ways, the Northerners go their ways, and the Westerners go their own ways and settle themselves. Albert, this is what restructuring might probably encompass and solve. But since the present administration of President Muhammad Buhari had decided not to, you know, look into that angle or look at that angle, one cannot help but um, question his uh, ability or his leadership skills or leadership qualities and his ability to actually rule, lead, and manage the affairs of the nation. Well, you've heard the new story. Prophet T.B. Joshua has prophesied that Mazin Nambekano, you know, is the anointed one, and that God will guard him and keep him from all haters and evildoers. Well, it is our prayers that um, this prophecy will come to pass. If you want this prophecy, prophecy to come to pass, can you drop out the comment section and say yes, it will come to pass. And if you think otherwise, you can also drop out the comment section and express your opinion. It is free of charge. You don't have to pay to express yourself. 
But please uh, be careful. Uh, I wouldn't want any uh, uh, wrong statement or you know insulting words. Let's be professional and let's keep it um, interesting. I'd like for you to please um, don't forget to su subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to also share this new story with friends, family, relations, and loved ones. Uh, please don't forget to engage the ads on this particular video as um, you know and other videos as well as this is uh, the only means that uh, we get uh, assisted by YouTube with a few um, so please thank you so much I appreciate you God bless you for your time